RugbyMag.com, the official voice of rugby. Hey everybody, this is Alex Goff from RugbyMag.com with your PRP Weekly for Week 6 from the Pacific Rugby Premiership. And we saw a lot of important games go on and some interesting ramifications. First of all, we now have a situation where every single team in the league has lost a game and won a game. Uh, that speaks to the parity of the league. It speaks to the competitive nature of that. Why did that happen? Well, Olympic Club won their first game. First of all, they won at Santa Monica and did quite well to do that. They had to have a hold up in goal to finish it off, but won 38-31. And then on the converse side, Denver Barbarians beating San Francisco Golden Gate in Denver, 14 to 10. Big win for Denver. Also a big result for Glendale Raptors because they beat Ombak that same day, 58-30, same location. And Glendale is now in first place. Well, how did they do that? Well, let's have a look at those two games real briefly. It came down to defense for the Barbarians. And we know that San Francisco Golden Gate's mall has been really, really strong. Well, look how hard Denver works at defending that mall. They don't give an inch. They battle every single foot. They make sure that Golden Gate has to work extremely hard to get anywhere. That was impressive. And on the converse side, Glendale scored 58 points. And we've heard about all those backs. Chad London, Mike Graham, Max Statler, Preston Bryan, Justin Paga, all those guys. But the guy who really made it go was Zaffanolio the hooker. Look at his pinpoint throwing in that line out. Look how quickly he gets into position to take a pass from Crawford Miller to potentially score a try. He doesn't get that pass and he comes right back in tight and busts his way through for a try the old fashioned way. So in the end, it comes down to who's working well in tight, but they say that defense wins championships. Maybe Denver has found the formula. Now on this show we were looking at perhaps doing a little examination on American fly halves and generally in a lot of the top teams around the country you find that their number one, their number 10, the number one guy at number 10 is not American trained or not American qualified. It's a big frustration for a lot of people following the game because they want some depth at that position. Well we looked at that at the PRP and we found it's not really the case there. You have five players who are playing quite a bit of fly half and doing very well in their USA qualified. Cameron Muller does a little bit of that for Belmont Shore. He does switch out with other players. But then we also have Volney Rouse, who's been capped by the Eagles at fly half. Mike Graham has come very close and is playing extremely well for the Glendale Raptors. Keegan Engelbrecht, former All-American from Cal, excellent player at fly half. And then we have Zach Pangelina, terrific runner, kicking extremely well and he also has been capped. Now, it's no secret that Pangelina has been playing well, and look at the stats there. He's leading the league in points scored. He's uh, doing that because he's kicking extremely well. He's also scoring tries for them. The converse side of that, though, is that Ombak is not getting a lot of bonus points, and if you look at the standings after this week, you see that Ombak is struggling to get bonus points. They're getting points, but they're not getting enough tries. They're not getting those four tries per game. That puts them behind Santa Monica in the standings. Now looking ahead to this week, well, it's all about who's on the road and who's at home. The Colorado teams had to start the season on the road because of the weather situation. They got to go to California the first few weeks, but now the weather is getting a little bit warmer. They're back in Colorado. Denver is hosting Belmont Shore. A huge game for both of those. Have the Barbarians found the formula? Can Belmont Shore still challenge for a top spot. If they do, they have to win on the road. Glendale will be hosting Olympic Club. The Olympic Club's got their first win, feeling a little bit more confident. Glendale's been playing very, very well at Infinity Park. And the third game on the slate, San Francisco Golden Gate. They just lost on their first road game. Of course, they had to go to Colorado. This time, they're going to Southern California against that Ombak team that seems to score a lot of points, but not a lot of tries. What will happen there? It is all up in the air, as always. But look for Glendale to have a strong game against Olympic Club at their home field. The question is, has Denver found the secret?